People who are vaccinated for COVID-19 can visit safely with others without a mask. That's according to the CDC. The new guidance comes as vaccines continue to roll out across the country. News 8 Now's Jordan Fremstad spoke to an expert in lacrosse who says the health rules we're all used to still apply. What a difference a year makes. Yes, things have changed a lot. The world has changed. Dr. Raj Paul Raj, an infectious disease expert at Mayo Clinic Health System, says people shouldn't abandon every rule practiced over that time. Now we're seeing numbers decline. Uh, is it safe to, you know, start getting back to status quo? Uh, no, it's not safe to go back to normalcy. Um, again, if you look at the number of people who have been vaccinated, we have close to 10% of Americans who have been vaccinated. That still leaves 90% of Americans who are still vulnerable. The CDC released new recommendations Monday, giving the okay for vaccinated people to gather indoors with other people without a mask. These people do not need to quarantine or test for COVID-19 if they do not have symptoms. This advice is only temporary. And it should be taken as a guidance, and each individual person should assess what amount of risk they are willing to take. People are itching to get back to the life they knew. Dr. Paul Raj says we are close. Is there a happy medium? Can we find a compromise to be able to coexist with the economy and also keep people safe? I think uh, the CDC guidance is a step in that direction. Vaccine continues to make its way into arms around the region. Have you received your shot yet? Uh, yes, I've received uh, both doses of Pfizer vaccine. I'm happy that uh, uh, I'm protected. Dr. Paul Raj believes the vaccine is the way back to a physically present world. So I would strongly encourage people to decide for themselves, look at the data, and um, make a choice to get vaccinated. In Lacrosse, Jordan Fremstead, News 8 Now. Mayo Clinic Health System leaders say more than 20,000 people are vaccinated through their health system. Healthcare workers are vaccinating between 600 and 800 people every day.